Scout 13 reporting to Center. We have localized the possible research center. Center, you're seeing the visual data. Madam Vice President, can you see this? This is their support, supposed religious and research center. We have to destroy it at all costs, otherwise they can use the stolen information to their advantage to develop new technologies. It's got heavy defenses. What tactics can be used to destroy it before they can evacuate it? Come on in, Santa. This is Scout 13. We've been spotted by the enemy air units. We'll try to... We lost signal. There's no communication. Damn. The newly developed ghost tanks can approach them undetected and mount a surprise attack. We might have a chance, but we have to hurry. I'll assemble the task force right away. Building online. Hello everyone and welcome back to Reconquest. Looks like we have to take out that research center this time. Commander, build a tech center and assemble a series of the newly developed ghost tank. These tanks can approach enemy units without being spotted. Sounds good to me. Yeah, this game got another patch. The last one addressed like resource issues. Where's, please get out of my way here, there we go. This one here apparently addresses issues with, oh, got some reinforcements. With units being too fragile and being easily destroyed. And I think overall it made the campaign a little bit easier because, oh, got, got two of these here. Because some people had issues with the second mission, which so far was the most difficult one. Because in that, mi that mission you essentially had to be perfect. There was no room for error. You had to have uh, your defenses up within something like two minutes. Assemble a few ghost tanks and look at the religion's research center without within the enemy base. When you find it destroyed, this is your mission. Nothing more. Okay, we'll do. Something I didn't notice is that this one here apparently has like a essentially like a satellite view thing but yeah before we oh probably should have built some defense here a little bit earlier but at least they're targeting my construction yard which is very tough so it's, there's a good chance that i'll have this bad boy here up before they destroy it y and yet I, I definitely need more of these up pretty much right away because they are not messing around so there we go, and I think I want third one straight away. Because I have pretty decent resources and I don't want to risk getting overrun straight away. The question is, will they attack from this angle as well? Uh, yeah, I think that answers that question. So, your infantry is super fragile. These guys here have no chance against me. I know they are basic infantry, so you wouldn't expect them to be that tough, but even these rocket guys here, look at that, they, they do no damage. They just get they get destroyed straight away and there's essentially nothing they can do about it. We've got a nice little corner here we can utilize. So let's have you bolster these defenses and always let your buildings soak damage if possible because your buildings can be repaired, your tanks cannot be repaired. So here we go. You two. Will they come from this direction as well? Maybe, but these guys should be able to take care of that. For now, we've got four of these guys. Sounds pretty good. And I think I need more defense. Yeah, to be honest, more defense is really what you want in the beginning. This doesn't strike me as the kind of game where you can just... Just build a force straight away and then rush the enemy. At least not in these missions here. So there we go. And anything else? No, I can't really upgrade anything because I don't really have access to anything else. But yeah, we'll we'll see. So that wasn't too much damage. Let's build you here. And let's get a war factory going, but for which we need a barracks, obviously. I think there's the APC. These APCs, they seem to be completely useless because they can transport infantry. But that's not really what they use them for, so yeah, not the, not the best unit really. I guess they're good against infantry, but so is everything else, because infantry is just that weak. So, let's, where do I put this? I really have to plan where I put stuff, because you really want, you, you don't want to obscure your own buildings. And you really, you really want enough power as well. And you also want 
to have enough space for larger buildings. So let's just, yeah, I can squeeze this in here. Let's build another one straight away and damn, I've got a lot of income. I think, I think they changed not only the the durability of the gas field, but I think they also changed how much value a load of of the, the shell gas has, I think. Anyway, let's build a tech center. And what can we build so far? So can build the Goliath. Oh, actually, no, we can't. But we can build the heavy tank. I like how the, the light tank is just a tank. A tank. It's not the light tank or anything. Now look at the range of it, these things. They're just, just crazy. Which, had some, which is something I did got to know. So we can't bookmark buildings. That's annoying. That has to change. Let's just see whether there's a base here. Definitely a base here. So I'll have to... Uh, then again, I probably just want to find their research center. And because if I just move out of my stealth tanks, I'm probably not going to succeed. So where do I put you? Let's just put you here. Oh, silos needed. Holy hell. I think I need stealth tanks, by which I mean ghost tanks. Whatever, same thing. So yeah, I think the income really feels changed. I also feeling I'm gaining crazy amounts of money. More than I can spend, in fact. Stop. No, that's not what I wanted to do. Yeah, I'm used to having essentially the left mouse button being the positive button to select units, select powers, execute powers, etc. The right button be the negative one to deselect units. You look very funky. You look very funky. Do you have like beehives on top of you? I know it's not beehives. It's probably some sort of reflector, mirror, camera thingy from the future. And so you've got. Let's request Queen Forces because it's just such a good power. And let's also get yeah some more base defenses. And I don't know if they have air units because I mean they had air units in the cutscene, but that doesn't necessarily mean that they will actually have air units here. But whatever, I guess you can support the defense. What are you doing? Stop shoving yourself around or rather one another. So do we have? This needs to be in a sidebar or units needs to be need to be like selectable or whatever. So there's definitely guys here. Is this there? I think this is a tech center because the mission where I was defending a tech center. They also called this like a, a research center and a religious site or something like that. So but anyway, should probably get another power plant. So and yeah, so this could be it. So maybe I can just sneak through here. We'll see for now. So there we go. Let's just build, actually let's build like a little bit of anti-air anti, anti -air just in case. And then move up. These guys should probably repair you because you're kind of important as my construction yard. Okay, why can't I, oh, I can repair it. So let's just build, I don't know, one anti-air defense here. These guys look cute, I like them. So still can't build MCVs. And yeah, no air units because I don't have an airfield, obviously. Uh, I think I'm just going to spam these guys like there's no tomorrow. I wonder how useful they are as straight combat tanks. They kind of look like my, my medium tanks. I don't want to call them light tanks because from the pure looks of it, they don't look like light tanks. But anyway, let's just sneak around here because I don't want to, I'm not quite sure how the stealth detection here works, whether you just bump into guys and then you're exposed or whether they're stealth detection units. And what is this? It's another ship, very durable ship that lasts for at least a century or two. Yeah, it's not quite clear when this takes place, when World War Three took place. But they did say that I should probably repair you. You seem to be good here. Base is under they did say that for a century we just hung out in underground bunkers. Oh, I could probably blow this up. I, I kind of want to see how strong these guys are. This doesn't really seem to be well defended. So they shoot quite slowly. 
boom. Yeah, they don't seem to be overly oh, really powerful, but then again, they are, well, they're, they're fairly expensive. So you probably, but then again, you probably don't want them to be super powerful plus stealthy. So, the silos here seem to be rather useless in general. So let's just see what kind of stuff they have here. Okay. So, radar scan activates. A fair amount of stuff. Let's just see whether I can sneak through there. And I think I'll gather you here. So I really have a ridiculous amount of money now. Yeah, that's definitely feel ch feels changed. In fact, this might make the game too easy. I didn't think the game was too hard. The one mission was kind of harsh. But then again, it was just the one mission. So I hope these guys don't break stealth by just, just bursting through. Is defense isn't auto attacking them? That would be bad. For stealth units that auto attack. Please. Oh. That's exactly what I did not want you to do. Okay, so. Ah, oh, what the hell. Let's just see how far we get here. Oh, this this is a fragile building. So maybe we can just provide that that's, that's actually our target building. That's the thing. There we go. Whoa. Wow. You are victorious. So I guess there was some elaborate C4 base chain in the underground that allowed me to blow up this entire enemy base. Ah, whatever. That was actually really easy because we had so much income. To be honest, I probably could have just built choppers and just moved in there. And the radar scan is really useful. Otherwise, I'd have to scan the entire map. So that wasn't actually too bad. Anyway, we'll see whether mission 7 is as easy next time. Thanks for watching and see you then.